This video is one in a series of videos covering how to make a car body for automation, the car company tycoon game, from start to finish. In this video, it's time to make our variants. I'll just cover making a cargo variant based off of a four-door wagon variant that I completed already. Making variants generally involves cutting up your first variant a little, adding, say, rear doors or a pickup truck bed. Then it's a matter of fixing the weight painting or adding new morphs as needed. Remember, just add to the existing armature. Don't make a new armature for each body. If you want, you can use the target mesh and shrink wrap modifier again. Just remember to reassign the weight of one to the shrink wrap vertex groups. You can also duplicate the target mesh and modify it for a different body shape. Then you just need to reassign the target mesh field in the shrink wrap modifier. At the end of the day, I was able to make 10 variants and then resize them into three different families with different wheel bases for a total of 30 car bodies. So that all being said, let's begin. First, I'm going to select the wagon variant and duplicate it. I'll make a new collection folder for it, move the body there, and rename the body. Make sure you have the correct body selected and that you hide it from the body you copied this mesh from. I sometimes forget to do this and end up editing the wrong car. I want to get rid of this seam at the back, but to do that, I need one more vertex to complete the joining. So I'll select these two vertices and press J to join. Then I'll merge the outside and inside edges that make up the seam together. Make sure Auto Merge is selected. I'll repeat those steps for the seam at the top. Now I'll select all the faces that make up the glass. I'll press I to do an inset. I'll untick boundary so I don't get an inset at the mirror, and I'll do three loop cuts inside the new inset rim to create some reflection containment. Now let's set this in a bit. I'll select the large faces, then Control plus on the numpad to select two more adjacent sets of faces inside the inset. Now I'll move it in on the Y and down on the Z just a little. Now I'll pr press Control plus again and assign the faces to the paint material. And there we go. That'll look like a stamped steel panel that just hasn't had the window hole punched out. Kind of a panel van look. So now we need to get rid of this rear door. So similarly, I need to create an extra vertex to aid in the removal. So I'll select these two vertices and press J to join them. I'll start merging the edges together until I have a single edge. And we can merge all the triangles to make up some nice clean quad topology. We will work our way around the rest of the rear door seam, merging vertices together until the seam is gone. Let's see about getting rid of this whole glass inset and molding deal. I'll start by selecting the edge loops that make up the bevel for the molding, and I'll edge slide those into the glass. Now I'll start edge sliding glass vertices into the seam. I need more vertices here at the front, and I'll hide a triangle in the seam. So I'll select these two and press J. Then I'll edge slide them into position. And I can merge the last vertex now into the seam. 
Before I move on, I'll select the faces that are still glass and I'll assign them to the paint material. And I'll smooth the edges. Now, continuing on with the theme, I'll select what used to be the quarter glass and I'll inset it two more times. I'll take similar steps where the door glass would have been. I'll inset twice, just like I did with the quarter glass. Press Ctrl plus on the numpad to select the two new loops I just created, and I'll move them in a bit on the X axis. This will give me some undesirable reflections around the plastic trim, so I'm going to give them a sharp edge to compensate. Then I'll move the sharp edge out a touch, so it's back where it started from. Now I'll go and make sure the seam and seam pull vertex groups are adjusted to reflect the needs of this variant. Now, we need to make sure all the bones still work where we modified the mesh. If you cut up a car and move it around, this will definitely be something that will require weight paint repairs. Once we have all our variants, we need to make duplicates of each one and store them in a backup collection folder. Keep backups this way and make them fairly often. That way, if you make a fatal mistake and need to go back, you can without losing a ton of work. This will conclude this video. If you found it useful, give the video a like and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this one as they're released. See you next time!